Andy Mogul. Whatever the reason is you're doing this, focus on that. Maybe it will help. Trust me, I've been through worse. Gene, have you found anything yet? I'm afraid not, Scott. Over a million people have downloaded a copy of Logan's film, and to sort through each one to discover who leaked the copy is taking forever. But you're the second most powerful telepath in the world. How can it be that... Gene, what have you been doing in here? Um... Seriously, I would like to know what's more important than catching the criminal who's costing 20th Century Fox millions of dollars and potentially hurting our cut of the gross. Okay, okay. I downloaded the movie and I was watching it. Oh no! The FBI will track it back to us, as if we aren't hated enough. Calm down. When I say downloaded, I mean I found someone else who downloaded it, and I read their mind. So how was it? Not bad. It would have been better if I'd been in it, but... Wait. Is this why you never go to the movies? Gene, this is stealing. Or should I say Dark Phoenix? I'm gonna have to report you to the FBI. Report what, Scott? Gene, you're so wonderful. I'm gonna pick you some flowers. Data telepath have no choice but to be whipped. And don't think I don't see you there. They're gonna play a commercial now, and by the time it's over, you're gonna forget all about my little psychic trips to the movies, and you're gonna believe with all your heart that downloading movies off the internet is wrong, at least for non-mutants. Oh, and you're also gonna to subscribe to Beyond the Trailer. Later, human. What happens when you put together one band and one filmmaker to create an original music video for $99? Watch world premiere videos every week at $99MusicVideos.com. $99 Music Videos is best experienced with Verizon Fios Internet. My name is Tommy, and I see movies everywhere. You're watching Indie Mogul. Over a million people have downloaded Wolverine online. Are they missing out on the big theater experience? Definitely. There's nothing like the big screen. I've had a friend actually download it and try to convince me to watch it with him, and I was like, no thanks. For it's really good movies, I cannot watch a bootleg. That's not the deal. That's not worth it. People downloading it on the computer are going to miss out on all the, you know, the larger screen experience, and the special effects lose a little bit on a small screen and sound, too. We heard a lot of claw. Uh, yeah, fights yeah, coming from there. Yeah. Is there a lot of action? Oh yeah, it's full. It's full of action. The action scenes were great, and you know, Wolverine with you know, no shirt on <laughs> helps. And it had everything I wanted, but it just, I think, a little too much action. Oh my God, is it possible? I like it more when there's like a lot of really good fight choreography and less graphics. I felt like there was kind of a little bit too much of that. They should kind of work on the script. They could have done more as far as the story. Uh, it, may, it jumped a lot with the with the wars. We could have had a more inside look on the wars. It was just like in the beginning credits. It felt more like a TV movie version of like the franchise. Where would you rate this with the other X Men movies? Um, I'd say it's not as good as one and two. It's probably at the level of three. I think the other three X Men were better than this. I don't think it, this was a bomb by no means, but the other three were better. Don't go in expecting anything as good as the first two X Men. That. Era's long gone. It's the best X-Men thriller ever. Oh, really? It's a, oh. To me. Does this movie miss Halle Berry and Rebecca Romaine and Patrick Stewart? Nah, I don't need them. Ian McKellen maybe a little bit, but no, he, he carried it. Hugh Jackman is incredible, and he carries the movie, so it's totally worth it. He has mastered the character. He has mastered Wolverine. I really can't find a better Wolverine out there at all. I. There's no one plays an animal like he does. Yeah, it's his role now. So this is his fourth outing as Wolverine. Would you like to see him come back again? You should do a couple of more. They let him. Who was your favorite new X-Men character you know, who wasn't in the original films? Gambit. I like the whole card thing he does. Taylor Kitsch do a good job with yes, that character? Yes, yes. He, he, the voice. The voice sounds just like Gambit. And he had the accent. I was waiting for the accent. I was just waiting for the accent. I'm like, you got the accent, you Gambit. They make Gambit more powerful in this movie than in the comic book to me. Ooh, awesome. I love Gambit. Sabretooth. Oh, yeah? yeah? How did Leo Schreiber do? He's not a blockbuster actor, you he, know? Yeah, he did pretty good. He did a good job. This was a, a difference, yeah, compared to his other roles, yeah. Oh, cool. Maybe he should stick to those type of roles. Oh, yeah, more blockbusters for him, right? Yep. Deadpool, actually. Ah. 
Ryan Reynolds. I really like his work. Deadpool was pretty great. Ryan Reynolds played him, so and I think we're gonna see more of him. So this movie is gonna be one of the best movies of the summer, in my opinion. It's not a bad film. It's just not great. There's nothing else out right now. <laughs> Go see the movie. You think that you've seen Wolverine do crazy stuff in a comic book or in the game? Well, he's doing even more crazy stuff in the movie. Go as soon as possible. What do you give this movie on a one to ten? A nine. Seven. I give it an eight, nine out of ten. Seven point five. Mm. Maybe like a five point nine. Seven or an eight. Seven. I give it a nine. Ten. Oh, I give it eleven. Eleven. Ten. Honestly, I give it a hundred. Despite being leaked online, bad reviews, and bad word of mouth, looks like Wolverine's movie has its own healing factor as Onyx is given an 8.5. And X-Men Origins Wolverine is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your 1 to 10 rating below as well as a One Sentence Review. The best one will be featured this Sunday on Movie Math. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25 and you've just gone beyond the trailer.